FC24 has loads of animations that nobody ever noticed. Let's check out all of these rare things in the game. There is an AI mod right now that lets managers speak in their real voices. I mean, I check this out. Of, uh, self belief in our dressing room at the moment. Everybody Read the subtitles at the bottom. You'll hear managers talk in their real voice. We controlled the game and it was a very good team performance. I think there's a lot of uh, self-belief. This is so cool. Imagine having real player interviews in the game like this. Final. Tiffany Cameron and her player model, a female football player who plays for Real Madrid. Her model is an exact copy of her real identity. Tiffany has skin pigmentation and EA has made sure that Tiffany's skin model is an exact same copy of her in real life. Respect to EA for this. A similar thing was done last year when EA added a female football player wearing the hijab in the game. And her name was Nohaila Benzina and she plays for the Moroccan national team and it was amazing to see her player model inside the game with the hijab. Sometimes you know EA actually does things so right you need to respect them for this. There are some really hilarious body mechanics in the game. Look at this for example. Hey, did you see that, Stuart? I, I guess this game is still broken since FIFA 17. And this. One, two, three, four. Is there even a referee on the pitch? The body ragdoll in the game flies and collides. There are also some animations where the players slide around to balance themselves going off balance. There is literally no limit sometimes on how much your players can get tackled. So sometimes this game turns into WWE. During games, you'll see two pairs of commentators standing on top of the stands and giving their comments about the game. Hello, Stuart. Today, I don't know why we are stuck here, but I have been standing here since FC24 released and I really need to go to pee. The bus cinematic in FC24 is insane. You'll have crowd models supporting you with wearing your jerseys. The players on the bus will be switched around according to your team. There'll be floors at the back with apartments decorated with your flags, logos and everything. There'll be a DJ on top of the bus dropping the beat for your team. And also the text on the bus says Championes if you're playing with like a Spanish team and it changes to Champions if you're playing with an English team. And I believe it changes accordingly for other languages as well. It will be so hilarious to see if EA added that cinematic where Sergio Ramos dropped the whole trophy in the bus parade. Even the trophies in front of the bus will be updated. So if you win like five trophies a year, there'll be five trophies in front of you. If you win one, then there's one. If you're Man United, then there'll be none. When you throw the ball at the crowd, the crowd will react by ducking and saving their head. Sometimes these crowd models are so dumb that they actually duck towards the ball. So if the ball is coming from this direction, instead of running away, they'll duck towards it. I want to see some crowd models getting injured in the game. And as a result, I also want to see football players giving them their jerseys to say sorry. The dressing room cinematic where the manager will pull out the tactical board and you'll also see some gym bags, kits, towels and even mobile phones of players kept around in the dressing room. You will also see a suit behind players which I guess they wore before they came to the football pitch. I would also like if they added some cinematics where managers just go crazy. There are new AR hyper motion replays when your goalkeeper makes a save. There are new reaction time timers on top of the goalkeeper. And when you use Andre Onana, it shows not available. The Ballon d'Or ceremony in FC24 is very detailed. You can hear the Ballon d'Or lady going, The Ballon d'Or! And you always, always have Mbappe right next to you clapping for you. As if EA knows Mbappe will <coughs> never win the Ballon d'Or. You even have Messi's weird outfits that he has used in the old Ballon d'Ors. And you also have your teammates making Instagram reels sitting on the stands and YouTubers doing challenges. And the trophy is given to you by legends like Fabio Cannavaro, Luis Figo and also Eric Cantona. Uh, as flies. But there is a huge problem. Even if you win the Premier League, if you're the top goal scorer, you win the Champions League, you win everything there is to win, Messi is still gonna win it. Hmm. 
Virgil van Dijk does this pass a lot by the way where he just goes down to perform a pass while performing a slight tackle. This is in the game. When you perform a slight tackle with Virgil van Dijk and many other top players, you will see them pass the ball while sliding to save time and produce counter attacks faster. If you score right at the end of the game, you'll see dynamic celebrations. This was in the game, but now there are signature dynamic celebrations. So like signature moves of players with dynamic celebrations. When you put the ball in the crowd in FC24, you'll see some children and some lovers with tiffin boxes and there are even children on top of their dads. There are fans even outside the stadium and sometimes the crowd even points lasers on the eyes of the players. In his eyes. This is extreme bad behavior by the crowd here. During the cinematics of halftime, you'll see some stewards, crowd control stewards standing inside the tunnel. There are also some security guards that are standing on the stadium to stop players rushing towards Messi like Messi. If you go close to the players, you'll notice that the players breathe while playing the match. Their chest also puffs up and they release the breath from their mouth to show that they are not 3D models, they're actually living beings in the game. The steam seems to be coming out of the back of the head though, which I feel like it's a glitch or EA is trying to copy this guy. Bruno Fernandes has a very funny way to take penalties in real life and you can do that in the game now. When you take a penalty with Bruno Fernandes, he jumps and then kicks the ball, just like in real life. I wish they added the penalty of Lionel Messi when he passed the ball to Luis Suarez in a penalty. That'd be amazing to see in the game. There are some overextension tackles where your players go down in height and make themselves wider to block the pass lane as much as possible. This animation is very rare to pull off and is extremely hard to perform in the new defending system which is the advanced defending. Managers will hold a team talk before the penalty shootout. During the cinematic, you'll see players stretching and just getting ready for the penalty shootout. The sidelines of the pitch will freeze during snowy matches. These sidelines will also react to other weather conditions like there'll be puddles on the side of the pitch during rainy matches. When the ball drops on the grass during rainy matches, it will leave a trail behind. This is very common during rainy matches but sometimes without rain when the ball goes onto the puddles on the side of the pitch it can come back with some water on it as it becomes wet and it starts leaving trails even in normal games without rain. The net of the game can literally lift up if you shoot really really hard and sometimes it even breaks and players can just huh? go through it for some reason. When you slide on the field you release some grass particles in the trajectory of your slide tackle. These are small pieces of grass that come out of the field. These were also present in the PS4 version but the pieces are slightly bigger in the PS5 version and they also have some dust particles if the tackle is too hard. Ronaldinho used to control the ball with his head a lot but in previous FIFA games there was nothing like this. In FC24 when the ball is approaching your head you can actually control the ball with your head and bring it down. This will help you not to take a header for no reason and actually control the ball even if there is a defender right next to you. When you slide tackle in this game your clothes rack up dirt on the places that you used to slide tackle with. It's not like random, it is literally where you used to slide tackle with. So if you slide tackle with your bum, you get marks exactly that you used to make contact with the field. In the PS4 games, this effect used to be generated over the period of time and now there is a system that actually calculates. So if you slide tackle from here, there'll be dirt here, which is nice. In FC24, you see your players try to use their strong foot as much as possible. Even if the ball is a approaching at a very awkward angle, your player will angle their body just to touch the ball with their strong foot. In some games, when the sun is shining at an angle, you will see some light leaking through the player's hair strands. This was not in the game last year and it's called subsurface scattering. It's a phenomenon in real life and it's in the game. Also works on ears, arms and everywhere where the light shines through. If, if you like watching this video, I want you to subscribe to TEFV Gaming and also click on this video if you really want to learn why Messi is bleeding in the MLS kit, probably because he misses me.